देयर हाय नमस्ते दोस्तों हाउ आर यू ऑल टुडे माय नेम इज हीरा कुलकर्णी एंड वी आर बैक अगेन इन हीराज किचन सो समटाइम्स आई शो यू कुकिंग डेमोन्स्ट्रेशंस आई शो यू अ वेरी हेल्थी वे ऑफ मेकिंग बनाना ब्रेड व्हिच इज ग्लूटेन फ्री सो व्हाट आई हैव डन इज आई हैव टेकन थ्री very very ripe bananas and i have mashed them with a fork here they are i hope you can see them i have taken two cups of coarsely ground rolled oats old fashioned rolled oats and you're going to use a little bit of salt half a teaspoon of salt some baking powder some baking soda vanilla Uh, unsweetened apple sauce to sweeten our um, our banana bread also provide some moisture additional moisture because we are not using any eggs or oil i am also going to add a few chocolate chips these are semi sweet chocolate chips from trader joe's they are vegan no animal products are in in these in this chocolate chips all right i'm also going to add nutmeg grated nutmeg nutmeg is also very good for us it relieves pain helps digestion helps in um, getting good sleep uh, it's also very very good for your brain health so i'm going to grate nutmeg there I am also going to add lemon juice, lime juice. I have lime today. Lime juice or lemon juice, you can use either one. All right, so let's get started. Let's measure our one teaspoon of baking powder. Please make sure you are using aluminum free baking powder because most of the baking powders have aluminum added and aluminum is very very toxic toxic for our health. 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 1/2 teaspoon of baking soda goes in next. Here we go. Half teaspoon of salt. I'm adding the Himalayan pink salt. You can also omit it if you eat salt-free diet. And then I have some grated ginger, about half a teaspoon of freshly grated ginger that goes in. Then here is my apple sauce. I use one container of apple sauce. This one comes in uh, a pack of six. This is unsweetened. Uh, this is about three point nine ounces of apple sauce. So last time when I made this recipe, I had a very very ripe. pear i added that to the mix and the flavor was so good i couldn't stop eating it okay there we go now we are going to mix the banana and the apple sauce banana pulp and the apple sauce let's add some vanilla about half a teaspoon of vanilla and we add all the wet ingredients together separately and the dry ingredients separately all right and now we are going to add lemon lime juice to it 
I have half a lime, half of a lime. And this would be about two tablespoons of lime juice. You can also use lemon juice, whatever you have on hand. Now I'm going to grate my nutmeg. This gives it a, it a lot, lot of good flavor. I have about one fourth of a nutmeg that I'm grating into my oat mixture. There we go. And now I'm going to mix the dry ingredients together very, very well. And I'm going to add my banana pulp with my vanilla and my ginger and lime juice. It's very, very simple recipe. Just a few ingredients are there, but equally yummy. And one thing I want to tell you, it's not going to be overly sweet. It's going to be mildly sweet because Remember, we have not used any sugar at all. And now I have um, floured my dish, my baking dish, because remember we don't use oil or any fat in any of our uh, dishes. So when you add a little bit of flour to it, this is a whole wheat flour, just sprinkle the uh, tiny bit so that the bread won't stick to the pan and it will easily come out. Actually this is going to be, I'm not using a bread pan, so this is going to make some oat squares, very delicious oat squares. And this has to be baked at 350 degrees for about, uh, I would say 45 minutes. Let's check. 40 to 50 minutes. So you, I would suggest that you check your um, bread at 40 minutes. And if it needs more time, because uh, then you let it cook for another 10 minutes. Because all the ovens are different. They cook differently. So it's hard to say whether you would need less time or more time. So I use up the rest of my batter. So this is a very simple, simple recipe that tastes extremely good. I make it every two weeks so that I have something healthy to eat when I'm looking for a snack. So I don't use any packaged goods from the store. All right, so I'll show you how I add my chocolate chips on top of my squares. They're not squares yet, but they will be once, once it's baked. I'll be sharing with you a photo of the finished product because it's going to take an hour or so. My channel, would you please do that today? I would really appreciate if you could subscribe. That gives me a lot of motivation to keep making more new content in different fields. Good also has come out of the quarantine period when we are trying to use our talents and our skills in different ways, in new ways. I'm very, very happy to share what I know with all of you. Here we are. Now it's going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes. And they will be ready for me to enjoy. I hope you will try this recipe. Until next time, bye now, be safe and Peace be with you.